Learning national black history is super important, but it's also equally important to learn your local black history. Do you know your local black history? I'm Educator Barnes and I was an English teacher, literacy coach and school librarian, and I absolutely love to read. Throughout the year, I host four different book clubs. Right now, the season is winter and it is my For the Culture book club. I do one book club per season. And the For the Culture book club, it centers around one culture each year. And this year we chose African-Americans. And to kick off our book club, we started with this book, African-Americans at Indianapolis, the story of a people determined to be free, written by David Leander Williams. Well, I met David Leander Williams um, on September 16th, uh, 2021. We were on a panel for the Indiana Housing Conference. And if you see right here, um, there we are. Um, David is in the white shirt. And when I first was contacted about participating in this, I actually turned it down because I'm an educator. Why do you need me at the housing conference? And in particular, why am I at the housing conference at the opening session? There are hundreds of people in the Indiana uh, Convention Center. And as you can see here, I was the only female on this panel and I was the youngest person on this panel. Uh, so I was a little bit nervous, but when uh, I declined, they reached back out and said, hey, let us explain to you what we we're attempting to do. And then when they explained to them, like, oh, this makes sense. For keeping in and learning, I did a Black Hoosier Excellence series um, right before this conference happened. And people had um, looked at the series and they thought I would be a perfect fit for this panel. This particular year, uh, there was an intersection between the history um, knowing uh, the, the Black Hoosiers that lived in different areas and how that intersects with housing in Indiana. So once that was the way, I'm like, oh, yes, I could actually speak to that because I did a whole series of learning history. But even though I learned history, there's so much more for me to learn. And during that, uh, after the uh, uh, conference, David uh, shared his um, book that was about to come out. And he asked me if I wanted a copy. And of course, I said yes. So let me get into what you came here for, the book review. This book, five out of five. If, if I could give it a 10 out of five, I would. This book was excellent. Uh, it was published by Indiana University Press. And if you don't know anything about um, publications, especially through universities, or it's an extremely rigorous process. And what was great about my book club, um, and our members finished this the book a few um Weeks ago, David came to our book club. So we were able to talk to him, ask questions about the book. And he uh, uh, talked a little bit about the process of getting this book published and the amount of research that he had to do to get this book out into the world. And we thoroughly enjoyed it. What I loved about this book is that David is a truth teller. He doesn't, uh, you know, beat around the bush. He gets straight to the point, but he also does a good job of lifting up the perseverance of African-Americans in Indianapolis. You can't tell the history of Indiana or Indianapolis without uncovering or discussing some tragic, um, disappointing, hateful things that happen here. However, you also need to understand that there are other things that happen uh, where people persevered despite some of the limitations. And so he does a good job of placing us in the situation where we're understanding the good, the bad, and the ugly, and then understanding that despite all that we were still doing the thing here. And I wasn't born in Indianapolis, but I've lived here the majority of my life. I was born in Southern Indiana, and then I lived in West Lafayette when I was at Purdue. But other than that, I've been here. I love this city. I love Naptown. I love being here, but I, I didn't know all the history. And despite me doing that, um, Black Hoosier Excellence Series, I learned so much from this book. And so if you're looking for a historically accurate text to read, check out African Americans in Indianapolis, the story of a people determined to be free. You won't regret it. And if you don't check out this book, read some book about history and where you are from. And yes, continue to learn uh, national history as well, because as you know, that it may not have been taught to you correctly. So I hope that this um, book talk has inspired you to go read this book or read a book about history because Black history 
is 365, is 366 during a leap year, and it is American history, and it's a history that can uplift all of us.